up everybody Mike B here so there have been a lot of stories recently about babies being left for hours in hot cars so I decided that I'm gonna lock myself in my own hot car just to show everyone out there that babies are weak little cowards who can't do something as simple as sitting in a hot car all right let's do this thing it's definitely gotten warm in here but who cares what, babies have never gotten warm before? Oh, look at me, I'm a dumb little asshole who gets scared when it's warm. My tiny heart is beating twice as fast just to regulate my body temperature. Are you kidding me, babies? Is this the best you've got? Yes, it's definitely gotten a lot hotter in here. And yes, I am sweating, but unlike a stupid child, I don't expect life to be a constant walk in the park. Sometimes you have to just suck it up and deal with it, all right, kids? You know who else would probably be dead by now? A dog. Dogs are pussies. Just balanced my checkbook. Staying in this hot car is turning out to be quite the productive day for me. Now this might come across as showboating, but here's something else a child's too weak to do. The baby's tiny teeth would shatter before getting halfway through this thing. I mean, Jesus, these little guys can't even eat a goddamn carrot. Psych, that was my best toddler trapped in the back seat of a hot car for two hours impression. You really can't count on your kids not to die in a hot car. Yup, yeah, I'm still alive. <laughs> woo! Woo! Eat it, babies! Okay, three hours. Most moms would be returning right now to find a dead child, but if they were returning to me, they'd find a completely alive man. Well, we've learned that sitting in a hot car is an incredibly easy thing to do if you're not a cowardly baby. Kids are pussies and can't do anything. Like and subscribe to watch next week where my friend Sal shakes me and pushes on the crown of my head, and I still don't die.